<laughs> and we're back. What's going on, you guys? It's crazy to think how much progress we are making on this challenger and just all the progress we're making overall. Just getting the videos out. It feels good just being making it back to back. Man, welcome back, you guys. Welcome back. Now, it's crazy to think of how much progress we've made, guys, in the past week. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about or you're new to the channel, well, last week or about two weeks ago, I wanna say, we picked up a Dodge Challenger scat pack. We got a smoking deal on it, guys. It's a clean title. It was hidden in the back barn of some guy's house. He crashed it, got paid for it, got a new title, and now it's in our hands. Now, we did take a little risk on this car because Obviously the damage was pretty bad down below and we didn't know if the engine was good or not. Now after replacing everything, fixing the oil pan, oil filter housing, and getting this baby fired up, it sounds freaking amazing. Look at that, Woo! 62 in the oil pressure, baby. Let's freaking go, buddy. Ah, oh, you got one little, one little, a little. Listen guys, the motor's good. Especially after my son high revved it, you would have heard a loud knock when he did that. Now we don't know if that was on purpose or not, but we'll deal with that. We'll put that on the shelf and figure out when we get the engine back in. Now this vlog, we're gonna be taking care of all of the framework. This thing was obliterated. The guy said he ran into a wall or a rock. I'm sorry, no, he ran into a rock. I guess the rock pushed everything forward. We ended up having three damaged rims. The subframe was completely broken off. All of the underneath suspension was completely torn out. Yeah, this car was hit pretty damn hard. Now the good news is, we're not gonna really have to worry about any the suspension because the subframe that we picked up from A-Rite, they gave us everything that was from the bottom that was completely damaged. So we already have not only our subframe, but our suspension parts to be able to line everything up. But not only that, we also have a complete cutout section that they went above and beyond and gave us way more than what we needed so that if there is any hidden damage, we'll probably have the metal to fix it off. So that's the great news. Now, well, there's one thing we are waiting on is the radiator support and the front rebar. Now, if it does come in, then Judging by the title and thumbnail, that means we are way ahead. And the good news is, is that once we get this car sold, we could jump back on the Hellcat Miata and we're gonna be able to get our R8 parts, our all-wheel drive Hellcat finished up and jump on the Bronco in Florida. Yes, I think maybe in Florida, but I'm getting a little bit ahead. Let's get started on this framework and let's try to get this thing knocked out, hopefully in one, maybe two vlogs. Look at how much closer that is. Just a few more pulls and this side will be lined up and then all we'll have to focus on is doing this side, meaning we could take this off and then start doing our cross measurements and just keep getting a few more things just taken out because then obviously we're gonna start removing all this stuff and it's gonna just start getting replaced. But we're almost there. It's really off before and, well it's still really off, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's, it's definitely still off, but it's getting there. Now obviously I know this is not a completely straight bolt, but it should go where we, nope. Okay, it's not going. It's, yeah, it's where it needs to be. Now it just needs to come forward a little bit and one side is pretty much gonna be done. No, that one's still kind of off. It's getting closer though, you see how far? Remember before last time it was like, you did not see any of the army. Look how much closer. But this needs to stay where it is while this holds. We don't know how much of that one bump is gonna. Babe. No. You think so? So if we get a black bar right now, you're saying it'll both up. This needs to stay this front piece while this pulls. Here. I feel like if you pull too much, these holes are not gonna line up with the fold. Okay, well we'll test that theory out. Okay, you're gonna frame machine wizard, you don't even know it. <laughs> no, it's just common sense. We got one side already done. She's working hard behind the scenes. See, she's she's getting them spare parts ready, guys. What? You're getting them spare parts ready, I was just telling them. Guys, one side is officially done. Look at that. Bolt is in, bolt is in. It all looks really freaking good. Now, I know some of you keyboard warriors are probably gonna say, well, how do you know if it's straight? Once I get this lined up with the subframe, because obviously the subframe is a straight frame, then we'll be able to square everything off with the rest of the car, which nine times out of 10, guys, it's not that bad. But guys, it didn't even separate off the spot walls, which is a good thing. Now this side, what's even crazier is look at how close this side is already coming. This thing was about three inches off yesterday. I'm gonna brace the rest of the subframe so then that way we can focus the entire pool. I'm probably gonna have to move this out of the way and we're gonna focus the pool somewhere right around behind here to see if we could just force this 
to come to where that bolt lines up. It actually is all spot welded on, which is what she's actually doing over there. And then we're gonna be able to also take care of this part where the tire hit. I think that's the part she's doing too, right? Yeah. Look at that. Right on, man. Go ahead, do your thing. All right, let's take our idea. Let's see if we can make it work. Go. Look at that. The next one's gonna be the harder one. Huh? Of course. The next one is gonna be this one. You need to take this off and this side off. This is not coming with us. Just this side and this side. Good luck. She's killing it, boys. It's putting in work. There we go. We got the guest appearance. Hi, what yeah. up? What up, everybody? So, guys, changing out the wife from my son. He needs this kid needs to start getting to work. Now, what we got to do is, I need help dropping the subframe because well, we got everything. No, no, put it down. You're already starting wrong. Listen, what we got to do is we got to drop the subframe, and you're gonna zip it back in. Remember what did I teach you? Righty tighty, lefty what? Exactly. So you're not gonna get confused like your mom. What is the yellow gun? The, the yellow gun, baby. Oh, right here in front of our damn faces. Oh my god. Damn good line. You are too. <laughs> you need to tighten up that one. I'm gonna pull up on it and then you need to tighten it up with your hand. Go ahead. Drop it. I'm not dropping anything, bro. You're not even in. Oh my god. Oh, push it in. Just push it. Let me see. Hold on. I'm move, move, move. Oh, oh my god. Pushing in. Hold on. So I just. Yeah, you can do a little bit. Go ahead. Don't all the way. This is not the throttle pedal. You gotta learn how to keep it right there. You gotta learn, no, no, that's it, that's it, that's it. You're about to go full sun. She, you need to learn how to keep it on the head, bro. No, you don't know how to keep it on the head. You, you can't do anything, you ain't strong enough, boy. First of all, you're pulling this forward and this actually has to go back or, or this has to come forward. Try to push that back. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, it does line up. All right, good job. I was wrong. That means I did a good job earlier, cutting and measuring. He's wrong. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, don't spin it off. Y'all keep it on, you see, look, you're already spinning it off. You spin it off, bro. Ow. Sheesh, that's what you get. You gotta keep it on there. Go to the back one. Nope. Nope. You're not gonna reach. I can't reach, so I need Here to you go. See, he doesn't listen. Keep it on there. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> You're weak. You're weak, bro. <laughs> He's so weak. I don't know You're how. so weak, bro. Remember, on the head. <laughs> you know, you're jumping off every time, I swear. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know. I don't believe you're on the gas pedal, bro. You you be going too hard. <laughs> this one I think is not my color. Wait, this one I think we can You can reach it with that. You should be able to reach it with that. Oh my god. Be careful, don't hit your finger on the black thing though. Come on, this thing is mocking me. So you get it's not getting in. What? I can't hear you. <laughs> Your right ear is not even cold. Huh? Yeah, I got you, I got you. You know what's the best part about this? Mm. Is that when you take it out, it cleans out all the earwax. There we go. I can't hear you guys now. You can actually put some meat behind it. Don't put your hand too close to the mallet. I want it further away because I don't want your hand hitting anything. Like, you need to get some practice in, buddy. It's all good. It's all good. Let's good job. The other side. 
Good job. Now we gotta take this thing out. And the way we take that out, you see this plastic right here? We gotta take that out, to then take out the three bolts that are holding that, and then take that, and this whole thing comes out. Cause then we gotta change out this whole piece of metal right here, and then cut into a new section in the front right there for the other side. Sweet! You just drop it again? Oh my god. That's called the abyss. That's what all mechanics call the abyss. Got it, I got it. You got yeah, it? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. You won't be able to get Wait, away with stuff like that. You're gonna need a little magnet. Righty tighty, bro. Like your mom. All right, that's it, that's it. You don't have to put it all the way. Good job, right there, right there. Now this part, I'm gonna have to stop doing this because you're not, you don't use the drill gun yet. Mommy said no drill gun for you yet. She doesn't want you messing with it. Please. Oh my gosh, bro. We're gonna be here all night, bro. I'm trying to get this car done. What? Yeah, you're getting close, but you're not doing it. Yeah, you see? Let me get it. Right, okay, okay, okay. No. I know, I get it. You're gonna kill the battery. <laughs> Good morning guys. So last night I stopped and well today the wife is coming in and just gonna knock out taking apart the rest of this frame and we're gonna finish the arms today and even the radiator support. I think we should be able to finish the top part. Are you gonna take this piece out too? Yeah, we're gonna definitely take out that part. Oh look, we got a light too. Now they can say we actually have some lighting here. Just this arm and then we're gonna jump on that because she already took that out yesterday. Oh my God. But the way you said it. <laughs> All right. She took off the other one off the donor and she starts to take off the damaged one on the car. But then after she takes all this stuff apart, we're gonna start test mocking up everything, putting up the fenders and making sure frame-wise everything is aligned and obviously break out the measuring system for the suspension. Go, go, go back to work, go drill. Listen to your boss. <laughs> Anything's easier when you have the right tools. to go. <laughs> Teamwork, baby! Look at guys, it's out! Well, look it. How does it look in there? It looks good. I don't know. She's like, I don't know, I don't have the light. It looks dented right here. Really? Is that like that? No, that's like that, babe. That's an imprint. Okay. They just put it. It's like that up there. Like that up there, but it's the opposite way. Alright, boys. So this is the damage report. There's no damage. <laughs> that part right there, that's from factory. That's not bad at all. The part that got cranked up right here, it's actually one whole piece. You guys just seen us remove the second section. It's actually over here. Let's show them. So the way we're gonna take it off on this one, we're gonna remove the entire piece. I was kind of debating on whether or not I wanted to cut it before or after where the bulk goes through, but because it doesn't look any damage on the inside. We're gonna just save it right here and then do our section after the bolt so that way there's no compromise or playing with anything up here and it just goes right ahead of it. So that way if there's an accident in the future, we shouldn't have any issues at all. We're moving baby. Quick flip baby, how's he do it? All right, get back to work. I like this. I like this. Bam, look at that, like a rock. So this one's cleaned off, this one's cleaned off. We got this, Rockstar pieces already on the ground. That's a drill bit. Yo, that's another freaking, well you went through a box, just not the big box, you no, went through I the little ones. The whole box. Seven pieces, it's a seven piece set, there's one left. There's one left, exactly. Uh. And this one already broke, so give me that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wrapped the master cylinder off. We'll start on the ones from underneath so I can focus on this side. Okay, I'll take it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather start up here, because I'm already up here. All you have to do is climb down and then you can just be right, right down here. I don't want to do that. Stubborn was a person. You're looking at it, guys. It's actually from the inside and this whole thing should come right out. It's from the inside? Yeah, it is from the inside because remember there's a four bolts that go to this and then you have to- All right, I'll get out. Yeah. <laughs> you can do the rest. I'll just do the other part. Say less, okay. One for the husband, team husband. Did you just say one win for the husband? One win for the day, because I was telling you. Look how stubborn you are. You won't just say, I need your help or muscles. I don't need your muscles, I need your help. <laughs> I need your back. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. There you go. Bam. Let's go. All right, so now. All right, I'm done. You're not done. There's no way in hell you're done. <laughs> She's crazy. We're almost there, but we're not there yet. 
So guys, we're gonna jump on just mocking up the stuff in the front and seeing how everything is. Now, I just wanna see how it looks, and for just your viewing pleasure, it's satisfying when you start seeing more new parts go on the car, just because then that way you know, you see light at the end of the tunnel. So, let's see how it looks. They ready? You think they ready? I don't think they ready. It's not ready. <laughs> it's not ready yet. It's almost there. Look at that gap, boys. Sheesh, nice and tight. On this side, it is nice and tight. This side's damn near perfect. I wanna show you guys this side. It gets a little bit tight right here, but the bottom has a little bit wider. So I'm guessing the way the fender sits, it needs it's like right here, and it needs to just come down just a little bit for this gap to be perfect. Now, what I'm thinking is, we already know that the hit went up. So the car, obviously, it, some mysterious rock came out of nowhere, and it just punched the whole frame up. So it gave it like an uppercut. And because it gave the nose an uppercut. You gave it a six. Yeah, a what? A six. That's a, oh, well, that's for the punch. <laughs> <laughs> that's so went over my head for a second. So it gave it a six for any of the boxing folks that are watching this. Now, because it gave it a six, we need to bring it. Is there anything that goes downward opposite six? It needs to go nine. No, you don't go down. You don't punch <laughs> downward. We need to do street fighting and just haymaker it down. Just boom. I'm going to just keep going. I want to see one last final. Before I finish this vlog, I want to see if we could try to get this whole front piece in. The next vlog, we'll finish everything. We'll weld it. We'll get it painted. No, I'm video yes i'm gonna weld it all in one video but you know because then I'll, I'll come back the next day and be like babe i'm done welding and then be like well i still have to do this yeah I, I am guilty of that but that's not happening because we're making progress and we need to flip this thing quick so you know what i'm gonna get back to it and we're gonna just finish this little front piece and see how far we can go for the end of this vlog well i forgot that was taken apart there So we got good news and we got bad news. Good news is we're almost done. But bad news is we still have to work. <laughs> we're not done yet. Yep, exactly. So we got to just, I want to keep this simple. There's a little dimple right here. This is where the bolt mounts up to this. Yeah, you see that? It's a little dimple. We don't like dimples. So instead of me trying to splice and do all this craziness, because I'd rather not cut behind the where bolt mounts up, we're going to take all this back apart. And so the inside structure of that and put it into the actual. Yeah, arm. we got access it from the other side because this whole piece, see this whole piece, this whole one nice piece, this un, this we could just um unclamp it and then we have all the access to see the inside and we could remove that and then put a brand new straight piece and it should make everything line up perfectly. Yes. What we think is bent is the inside structure. Yeah, in it's, it's, yeah, it's the piping that's inside of here. You guys can see how nice that all looks and we're gonna just remove everything from the inside Take it all out, and then that should line everything up, and we should be good to go. So we're we're treating this car like an onion. Yes, we're layer treating it like an onion, layer by layer, and we're trying to do it as safely and as smart as possible. Like again, we could have just hacked right behind it, but for me, I just didn't want to do that, guys. See that? I, I, I suggested it. She did suggest it. She's like, just chop it. And I'm like, no, I'm not chopping. You can it. chop it and put a, a piece inside and then force you, it. Nah, but it's I still mean, not the same. It. It's not the same. It's just not the same. The, our best option is honestly to just take this out, repair the inside, put it all back together, and that'll be in the next vlog. So, with that, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. It actually looks amazing, though. If you got to look at it, look at it from head on. Let me see the whole. Look at that thing. Yeah. All I know is, is that it looks like a car. Next vlog, <laughs> it's going to be all together. This is all going to be buttoned up. You know what I'm saying? Just think about that. I'm gonna try to like clamp it somewhere they don't see it and act like I got the whole reinforcement bar on. Okay. Yeah. So you're telling them that you're clickbaiting? It's already the end of the video, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs>